You've also got some fond memories, I think, of South Africa. Perhaps <laughs> not hanging out with Nelson Mandela. No, no. But you, you did a gap year, didn't you? I did do a gap year in South Africa. I, um, people keep asking, um, fans of Keen in South Africa, keep saying, when are you, when are you coming to South Africa? I'm a, I'm a bit reticent because I feel like I was slightly chased out of South Africa. <laughs> well, because... <laughs> I was basically, when I was out there on my gap year, Radiohead at that point were very successful. It was the late 90s, they were, they'd had a couple of very big albums. They were big in South Africa. But I don't think anyone really knew much about the band. So I remember going out there and I took my acoustic guitar with me and I was quite good, did quite a good turn of Radiohead songs. And one night someone got a bit drunk and they were like, are you sure you're not the guy from Radiohead? So then I spent the next few weeks in Peter Maritzburg, where I was, where I was staying, pretending to be Tom York from Radiohead. <laughs> and he's got around the whole town, you know, and everyone was saying, the guy from... And people would say, what, what are you doing in Maritzburg? It's really strange. But, you know, they, they really... They really were believing it. Uh, and then eventually, obviously, everyone was like, this, this guy's a joker. Surely, surely this isn't <laughs> true. And so I had to hang my head in shame and, uh, and sort of hide away for the rest of the time. Um, but while I, while I was Tom York for those few weeks, it was very exciting. <laughs> Felt good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, again, it was a tribute to Tom York, really. Indeed. That, uh, and the rest of my life has been a tribute to Tom York. <laughs> <laughs> How on earth, of all the places in the world you could have ended up, did you get to Peter Maritzburg? It was just one of those things. I got I got placed there, and um, uh, you know, I, th I think at that time in my life, I'd lived a very kind of cosseted existence in uh, a small town in the southeast of England, and I just was desperate to get away and do something completely different, exotic, and um, and uh, so I just took the first opportunity that was presented to me, and it was a it was a fantastic time. We we just we lived it up, and. Um, we got, my friend and I were known as the Doobie Brothers. I'll, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs>